Now, Vice President Mike Pence uh, made some headlines yesterday when he decided to leave an Indianapolis Colts game after more than a dozen players on the opposing team, the San Francisco 49ers, kneeled during the uh, national anthem. Oh my God, how dare you people kneel for the national anthem? Yeah, you can't do that. I'm, I'm, I'm out of here. I'm going to leave. I'm triggered. Exactly what happened. Okay. Uh, Snowflake. Anyway, he tweeted, I left today's Colts game because POTUS and I will not dignify any event that disrespects our soldiers, our flag, or our national anthem. <sighs> Look, man, I, I hate having to explain this every time we do this video, but I'm going to do it again. Uh, for one, that's not what the protest is actually about. It actually has nothing to do with the soldiers, the national anthem, or the flag. What this is, is that it's about police brutality uh, and how African-American lives are seemingly less valued than white lives in America. It's about the racism that is in our system that is endemic to the United States of America. Now, the fact that people synonymize these protests with protesting America is actually very telling, very interesting, right? Now, what's also telling is that a lot of people are thinking, okay, look, this uh, stinks of a PR stunt. Yeah. Uh, now, I mean, think about it, okay. So they looked, a lot of people looked at, at the, uh, the vice president's travel, right? So he came from Los Angeles, or I'm sorry, Las Vegas to Indiana, right? Now, he went there to go to a football game, right? Uh, now, he sat there for a few minutes, his snowflake melted, uh, that basically caused him to retreat to a safe space and to go back to um, actually California. That was his next stop. So he flies from <clears throat> Vegas to Indiana, then to California. That's weird. And it's weird when you take the, the, the statement his office had put out. You see, people were actually wondering about the cost of this little flight, this little stunt. Uh, and, well... Here's the response of the office, and I'll tell you how much it cost afterwards. The vice president was not going to miss Las uh, the Las Vegas Memorial Prayer Walk on Saturday, which he was honored to attend on behalf of President Trump. If the vice president did not go to Indiana for the Colts game, he would have flown back to D.C. for the evening, which means flying directly over Indiana. Instead, he made a shorter trip to Indiana for a game that was on a schedule for several weeks. Wait, why would he go back to D.C.? For the evening and then go to California. That doesn't make any sense. And a lot of people pointed that out. And the other thing they pointed out is a gigantic waste of taxpayer money. I mean, you want to talk about being a fiscal responsible, uh, a fiscal conservative, being fiscally responsible, right? Well, you're not going to spend $242,500 on an unnecessary flight all the way out to Indiana and all the way out to D.C. from Las Vegas. Why would you go there for the evening and put yourself up in a hotel? Cheaper. It makes absolutely no sense. And again, if that's not bad enough, that's not ridiculous enough, there's more. And it's the fact that this whole thing, again, was on purpose. Now, after Pence tweeted his his reasons for leaving, uh, I'm sorry, leaving, <laughs> that's a weird Freudian slip, uh, President Trump tweeted an hour later that he had asked Pence to leave the stadium if any players kneeled. Uh, hey, Mike, uh, here's what you got to do, right? So uh, if any of the players kneel, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to leave the game, okay? Y yes, sir. Yes, sir. Will do. Will do, Mr. Trump. <laughs> so, okay. Now, that's interesting because anybody who pays attention uh, would assume that, you know, because the Colts were playing the 49ers, you would have somebody that's kneeling. Anybody who's been paying attention, okay? Uh, now, some of you might think, oh, come on, that's not fair. He didn't know that this was going to happen. I mean, he was probably busy making America great again to know who's actually doing the protests, who's actually kneeling, and what team is actually more famous for having people kneel. Now, what's interesting, like I said, the, the 49ers, almost everyone, um, or almost every game, I should say, has had at least one person kneel during the national anthem and do a protest. You, if you were following this at all, you know this. And it seems like he does follow this. Um, but I don't have, like, 
concrete, like, oh, I know that for a fact that he's following it. Oh, come on, man. It's been in the news. It's been widely reported. He's got to pay attention. If not, what the fuck is he doing there? But anyway, um, now another piece of evidence here to show that this is fake. This is a staged, right? Uh, NBC's Vaughn Hilliard reported from Minneapolis. The media pool was kept in the vans ahead of the game instead of being led inside with Pence. A staffer told the pool there was a chance that Pence may depart early, but it did not mention how early. Oh, no, no. Stay in the van. It's cool. Uh, Pence is going to leave anyway. Oh, really? When's he going to leave and for what? What what reason? Oh, nothing. Uh, just stay in there. He'll be right out eventually. But we don't know when. when. That seems weird. That seems incredibly weird. No, you know what this seems like? Is that it's a very expensive PR stunt to help both Donald Trump and Mike Pence. I mean, think about it. Pence gets up and he leaves when someone kneels. And then gets to go on Twitter and say, oh, look at how patriotic I am. I love the flag and I love the troops. And I just couldn't stand to see those people kneeling against the flag. I'm going to stand up for both the veterans and the flag and everything by not actually doing anything worthwhile. Now, is that going to be effective? Sadly, it is. I, I don't think anybody uh, who's cheering on Mike Pence, who's a fan of Mike Pence and Donald Trump, thought that oh that there was a problem no they're like oh yes standing up for the flag the irony about this is that those same people paid for this expensive pr stunt with their taxes and they're never going to realize just how badly that got played now the rest of us who were living in the actual real world well we see how just absolutely disgusting mike pence and donald trump actually are and how they don't care. They will lie to you. They will spend your taxpayer money. They'll do anything that they can uh, in order to score a few political points on purpose. It's gross. But look, if you thought Donald Trump was the anti-politician, no. He's a politician. He just sucks at it. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching this video. If you want to see more like this, please hit the subscribe button below. And if you want to support truly independent progressive media, please consider becoming a patron at patreon.com slash TYT Nation.